Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 7 Madhouse Walkthrough. I'm Wicked Low and on today's episode we're going to be meeting the deputy inside the garage. So this ought to be pretty interesting. Um, I think 4 was the one I was on. I think so. So we're going we're gonna to see how this goes. All right, so let's see. Where are we at? Okay, so I got my stuff on me, ready to go. All right, then got the bobblehead, nice. Okay, so I think I'm, I think I'm gonna make a little first aid so I can heal. No, I should have a herb and a chemical fluid. In your last episode, yep, there's the chem fluid. And there. It's gonna heal up. I don't like all that blood just yet. Kinda early for all that. So, uh, yeah. Now we're just gonna go down to the garage. Uh, if you've done followed so far, you should have already cut the tape open with the knife and then when stocked everything up, you don't need it again. We won't need that knife again. Alright, so this is going to be a boss battle coming up. We're going to be fighting Jack. And there's a, there's two ways you can do it. And I'll show you one of the easiest ways in a second. Hey, we got to get the fuck out of here. Now first you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not going to believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back up. Put Wait. that door back up. Put Wait. Door back up. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. All right, so basically you're going to want to pick up this gun right here. Um, and over here you can pick up this lockpick, and there is a first aid in there. Now, you can use the lockpick to uh, get the key to the car, but you don't need to do that. Just take your circular saw out and just go to town on Jack for a little minute. Deal some damage to him. He may grab you. He might hit you. Just stay close. Keep hitting him. You should be good. You'll stagger him constantly. Well, you see, I got hit. It's all good. Um, you're just going to hit him a few times and then just drag him over to the car. Or he'll start walking towards the car whenever he gets damaged enough. So basically either you can drive the car and run Jack over until he takes the wheel and rams both of you into a steel pipe. Fuck you and the horse you rode. Or you can do this and deal enough damage to Jack where he breaks that down and now he's gonna actually get into the car. Easy. So now basically what you gotta do is you have to dodge the car and deal more damage to Jack, which if you do have everything I have, oh, I got hit. That's not good. I'm just trying to stay away as much as possible, deal some damage to him. I'm kind of missing too. Um, that first aid came in handy. But yeah, so I want you to do a little bit of damage. If you if you have everything I have, the Albert with enhanced ammo is plenty to deal three shots to him. I probably could have dealt a little more damage uh, with the circular saw before I let him get in. But, but yeah, so that should be getting close. Should be. One more? Yeah, this should be the last one right here. Oh, this is the last one. Yeah, so I'm I'm missing horribly right now. Don't mind me. Yeah, so once you deal enough damage to him, he's going to end up wrecking the vehicle. And whenever he wrecks, it's going to start on fire. Because obviously I just don't know how to aim right now. I don't... Please forgive my horrible, horrible playstyle at this point. So yeah, so the car's going to start on fire, and he's going to get out. Now when he gets out... 
two things can happen. You can either shoot him and stagger him three times or twice depending on how far you are. Let the car blow up and you're good. Or he'll come close enough to you where he grabs you and he'll constantly deal damage to you until the car blows up. This way you don't go through as much damage. Um, then after you do that you've pretty much collected everything. Uh, this is the toolbox is ne actually near the uh, staircase. We're gonna go show you here in a second. Yeah, that's Jack. He's all screwed up. But yeah, so over there is where you get the lock pick in that corner, and then the box is right here. So you can open this up, and the car keys is in there. We don't need the car key no more, so we got us a free lock pick. Uh, so we're gonna want to go up this ladder now. The only way you can go up this ladder is if you pick that gun up. So if you didn't pick the gun up, it will spawn right there uh, at the bottom near the ladder after you got to this part. You're about to see some wonderful. Mm, he just executed himself. This game is just so awesome with the gore. So whenever you get up here, you're gonna want to go to your left, and there is another antique coin. Uh, normal, I believe. There's shotgun shells. So you want to get this picture, turn it around, and get your first piece uh, this will actually let you into the main hall which is where we're headed to next The one good thing about these x-ray uh, glasses is you can see just about anything and everything. So this person's face is kind of scratched out with no name on it. Um, 9 out of 10, that must be Zoe right there. If I had to guess, I would say that's Zoe. You don't know him, but you got the feeling he's an asshole. Yeah, he, he is. That, that that right there is Lucas. The 2013. That's the son. There's there's Marguerite and Jack Baker. That's the mama and daddy. That was their wedding anniversary. So over here in this corner, we got another bobblehead. Take care of that. And there is some ammo around here. Now, with those bobby hoes, you can, you can shoot them or you can use a circular saw or a knife. Um, your best bet is to use the knife, save ammo as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and use that piece right here on this door. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the main hall. Now, if this is your first time on Madhouse, there's a little change into the game. And it starts to take effect now. So we're going to go ahead and get that bobble head. We're going to get this antique coin. We're going to go ahead and get that gunpowder too. I think I already got it. Um, answer this phone because it's Zoe again. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's, a, he's dead now. <laughs> you just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. I'm right, we'll just continue on. Come over to this clock. We're going to get this clock piece, and we're going to read this. Over 20 missing in two years. Captain Howell from State Police told reporters they have started a search for... Helen Medcliffe, 
a college student from North Carolina who was traveling in Louisiana. Miss Mincliffe hasn't been heard from or seen since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missing are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to step up local in interrogations and increase personnel to further the investigation. Alicia Ashcroft, January 9th. So Ashcroft, I believe, is a main character in another Resident Evil game. So that's kind of it's kind of cool to uh, to see. So this, this that's a lot of people though that's gone missing in two years. So obviously this family has been pretty pretty busy you know so this is a puzzle normal you got to do this to actually get where we're going um but we're gonna do it anyway just because i'm feeling giddy i like it it's a good i like doing these little puzzles they're fun so the new the new area is these cages uh they have three cages that show up in the main hall on that house uh, the cages do spawn still in the trailer over there but these three give you an assault coin which increases your attack power it gives you a defensive coin which increases your defense obviously and then ta-da you get your scorpion key early so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get said scorpion key takes three coins so we're just gonna go and pop them in now, whenever you grab this key, it will activate Jack, but I am full, so I need to go put some more stuff up. stuff I don't need like the, most of this just about everything obviously except for the main essentials um, I'm gonna keep that pendulum on me I'm gonna probably use it here in a minute actually I'll probably go use it now since I'm on this side of the house just to, just to do it I don't really know why I brought a cassette tape but we'll go with it So you're going to come into the living room whenever you have that, that little uh, clock piece and you're going to come put it in this clock and it'll give you one of the dog heads that you need. You need three dog heads to open up the front door in the main hall and they're scattered along the, uh, along the house. So this is going to be the first one. So we go ahead, we're going to get this and what am I doing now? I think I'm going to go put everything back up or am I going to save? I think I'm going to save it just to be on the safe side. I mean, I have plenty of cassettes, so why not? And you're going to get a few more. Like I said, you have plenty of cassettes to save as many times as you want or need. I, I guess I, I can't say I want because, I mean, you do only get a certain amount. You're, you're limited to the amount of cassettes you get in a, in a playthrough. So... Let's go ahead and uh, check the stats real quick. See, so we have four NT coins already, and we have six of the files already. Nice. I think we have like three, three bobbleheads so far, which is pretty good. All right, so wrong one. I'm gonna go and get this. All right, Jack gets activated. Now, same process. You just want to take that circular saw out and go to town on Jack. Now, after hit him a little bit, he's gonna convulse like that and fall to the ground. Yeah, he is not dead, nor will he stay down long. You can actually hit him again and reactivate him. And I believe if you if you kill if you so say kill him and i did this in quotation marks kill him or knock him down uh nine or more times i believe he actually stays down for a good while 
Other than that, he'll only stay down for a few seconds to a couple of minutes, and then he's back up running around. But getting him down does allow you to get some stuff done. It's a lot easier. So I do recommend doing it if you have the circular saw. So once we get him down, we have the scorpion key, but we're not going to really use it just yet. We're going to go upstairs and get some stuff. Uh, we're going to get this separating agent. Thank you, Grandma. You, you are one freaky ass woman maybe it's daddy's hobby so he was a football player hmm. interesting uh, normal there's a plant right in that corner a uh, herb marguerite should have been out there i don't know why she's not roman it's weird on normal, there's also a box that you can lock pick in this corner as well, but there's an herb over here. So there's some ammo in this uh, drawer right here, and along this wall is another antique coin. Awesome. Nothing in there. So in this bathroom is actually where you get that wooden piece, which I'm sure most of you already know. If not, it's in the tub. Um, normal, there's an antique coin in the um, toilet, actually. So we're going to hit this button, drain the water or the sewage, whatever that is, black mold. Click this. Now, if you haven't done what everything I've did so far, if you get that wooden piece and actually open the door, you'll that's another trigger for Jack. Uh, where he just shows up out of nowhere. Uh, so we're going to go into the rec room, Granny's room. And um, in this book over here is your second dog head. Also, already we already got two. We're on really good track. I'm going to go ahead and read this. October 7th. Reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. Hmm. The water has finally recited. The house is all right, but the old house was badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better call the sheriff's office and report it. So they do seem like they were once a normal family, I, I guess you could say. Now, when he does come back and show up, you can actually hide from him. If you don't make no sounds, he'll just patrol and do his own thing. If he don't spot you, he will eventually leave. Um, just like I'm kind of showing you now. Like, I'm staying out of his sight. He can't see me. We're all good. So, if, if you ever do want to just, like, you know, stay away from him without having to really attack him and you find yourself in a room with him, just try to hide behind something without him seeing you. And you're good. Seeing as I have the circular saw, though, we're not gonna really do this. To be honest with you, we're just gonna we're gonna we're just gonna kill him. I thought he was gone, but he wasn't. He's seen me, so we're just gonna knock him down again. He hit me. It's all good. You are going down, 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 down. All right, nothing there. Okay, so I believe I'm full right now. I, I can't. Oh, I got a cassette tape. I think I already had one on me. Yep. I am stocked up right now. So we're going to have to come back. We're going to get the rest of this stuff. Uh, actually, when we open up that scorpion door, because we will need to get something very important in that room. Um, we're going to be doing something on this episode that I notice a lot of YouTubers either miss or don't really do that uh, have played Resident Evil 7 before. Um, we're gonna get one of the best guns in the game, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead and make this eagle. Um, I had a total brain fart on this and took me a good little minute to, uh, get it. But yeah, we, we recovered and we pressed on. So... 
excuse the well just just excuse the the blonde moment i guess you could say see i, I finally finally clicked on me what i was doing and, and got it right come on turn it around you got this hey come on there you go all right now we're cooking with some grease So you do this and it opens up the wall to a side room, which we're, we'll go to that side room a little later. Um, we, we actually have a room in there we have to open with a crow key that we'll get pretty soon. So we're gonna come over here and open this scorpion door. Now on normal, this is a free range to either the room I was talking about, uh, underground or save room. Madhouse, however, you meet a enemy a little sooner than you'd like. But as you can see with the circular saw, it's easy as cake. You just just do like I did. Kind of point a little towards the ground at him. Start it up. It'll jump at you. It'll chop its own head off. And you're good. So we're going to go ahead and collect everything in the little save room. Got some decent stuff in here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That's underground. Okay. So we're going to read some more files right here. Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me, but maybe they gave you a chance to escape. But maybe this gave you a chance to escape. To escape, you have to find the reliefs shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the dissection room underground. So we're going to be going to the dissection room. You turn this around, you get the other file. Something's wrong with me. It must be that shit they made me eat. If I'm going to die... I'd at least like to go out fighting. I'm going to go get a hold of that shotgun I saw in the, ooh, a shotgun in the rec room and make them regret it. So he's talking about the shotgun in the rec room, which is the one upstairs. And that, my friend, is the beast of beasts. And we will see that shortly. We probably won't see it in action until next episode. But we are going to see it this episode for sure. I'll show you how to get it and uh, how to make it usable. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean some more spaces out. Get some more room in my inventory. Uh, yeah, probably just... I'm just gonna use it. I'm just gonna just gonna use it. Uh, we get plenty of herbs. I'm use a couple of them because I have no chems right now. But we're good. All right, just to heal up a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and pop this save. All right, so now we're gonna actually go down the stairs. Ooh, underground. I find this port kind of ironic, though, because um, in this dissection room on normal, you have to fight two enemies. There's one that automatically spawns in there, and then after you complete the little puzzle, you actually have to fight Travis, which he has turned into one of the bigger guys with the shields on their own. Um, that's on normal and easy. Well, on Madhouse, well, as you can tell, there's not even one that just spawned out. This pretty much just tells you that um, it's three A's and a handprint to locate Travis, who is stuck in one of the um, incinerators. So you gotta, we gotta open that incinerator. Uh, there's actually a key in there. So there's the handprint. We're just gonna pop that open, and the triple A is actually all the way at the end. It's a uh, Tamara. We got three A's in her name. And that should open up this first one. Now, like I said, in normal or easy, there would be an enemy in here that we would have to fight. But seeing as it's Madhouse, there's not one. There is, however, one out here. So we're going to go ahead and kill him real quick. And there's going to be one behind us. So we're going to go ahead and take him out real quick like that. And we're good. So we're going to come down here, open up this doorway. Oh yeah, use your muscles, Ethan. We're gonna unlock this door, so now we have a little shortcut. Grab this map. Normal, there's a antique coin in that wall. 
Okay, so there's gonna be a crawler that spawns on me right here. Ugh, I hate his little ass. He, he, he gets me every fucking time. So we're gonna go ahead. I, I don't know what triggers him. I really don't. I think it's whenever I pick up the lock pick right here, the set tape. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there he is, that fucker. Gets me every time, man. So yeah, so obviously it triggers whenever you pick up that cassette tape, or maybe picks up anything. I don't know. Um, so we're fucking full. Um, shit. All right. So here, here's a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to how to do this. So to make an enhanced ammo, you can either use strong chemical fluid and gunpowder, or uh, most people don't really know this but you can actually mix gunpowder with regular ammo and get enhanced ammo so for every 10 regular ammo you mix with a, a thing of gunpowder you actually get five enhanced ammo which is is very um, it's very good to know because enhanced ammo is a lifesaver in this game it it really is Here's another antique coin down here. And along this wall, we have handgun ammo. And we have a bobblehead. Another bobblehead to add to the collection. Uh, nothing in there. Okay. Go ahead and put some more stuff up because we are about to go do a boss battle. About to fight Jack again. And once again, it's going to be really easy. Probably too easy for Madhouse. I think that's about the only thing bad about this game. I feel like the bosses could have been a little bit more challenging. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're pretty hard if you didn't have these OP as weapons, I guess. So I can't really say nothing, right? Um, so if you get a lockpick and open up this box down here, you can actually get some more enhanced ammo. So that's actually pretty cool. We already have 15 enhanced ammo. That is, that is fantastic, even though I have infinite ammo. If I didn't have infinite ammo, I would be loving that. I don't think there's going to be some more ammo down here. Yep, handgun ammo, nice. So there's going to be a guy that spawns up here on these steps. Just watch out, he's going to spawn through the wall. There you go. Yeah, like, yeah, there he is. Go ahead and just kill him. Now, normally you got a guy that spawns behind you back here on Mad House. You don't. Uh, normal as well, you have like three or four dudes in here you have to take care of. On Mad House, you just have one of those fuckers. So, yeah. And that's it. Uh, there's some shotgun shells right here. And all that good and good. So we're going to come use this key over here. And I actually need space again. So instead of having to make two trips, I'm going to show you how to do the, the ammo trick. So I'm going to combine this gunpowder, which you can't do it in regular combine. You have to manually combine it. So you take the gunpowder and you just combine it with regular ammo and bam, you get for 10 regular ammo, I got five enhanced ammo. So now I have a stack, a full stack of enhanced ammo already. That's amazing. It's amazing. So this toy shotgun is key. This toy shotgun basically allows you to um, collect both shotguns, basically. Uh, without the toy shotgun, you would have to pretty much choose, which I hope after you watch this video, or I should say my next video, um, you'll choose the shotgun that I get more, more often now. So we're going to go back... Uh, I like, I like closing doors. What can I say? I just, it's a thing of mine. 
in this game, I always like closing the doors. Everything's gonna be clear for us to go. Now, whenever you get into this dissection room, you can once again do it two ways. Uh, since you're watching this madhouse run, obviously you've done seen this before, but if you touch that, you get into this little cutscene or a little talking with Jack. Well, if you're trying to do a little speed run, you can totally bypass this whole section by just running down these stairs. Uh, once you get through that door, uh, it goes to the other area where you know it's hanging and you gotta grab it. But we're gonna go ahead and get that strong med and we'll plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and make actually a strong first aid. It's very useful. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using it if you don't have infinite ammo because you can use that for a bunch of good things uh, like ammo, uh, enhanced ammo and grenade launcher ammo, things like that. I'm just gonna waste it because I don't need ammo. So, and I'd much rather go up. Alright, so the caged area is just great. Looks, looks welcoming, homey. So, we're just gonna come up in here and we're gonna get this chem fluid and uh, another antique coin. Uh, that's the deputy, by the way, on that wall. Uh, he's He's trying to turn into one of those molded. Uh, so there is the dog head. If we pick it up, we'll actually start the battle with Jack. I'm going to get this first aid. Now, normal, if you come down these stairs and down here, there's some gunpowder. But there's, there's just nothing down here on Madhouse. Just a dark corner. All right, so we're gonna come back up and yeah, I guess we'll just do it. Uh, these little body things work great to uh, stun Jack if you didn't know and when he's chasing, you can just hit him with them and it'll kind of like stun him. We won't need it though. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this dog head. And just like every other boss battle so far, uh, Circular Saw is your best friend. Circular Saw will down him very fast. Uh, once he gets down once, he'll go after his big claw thing. So yeah, he's, he's already down. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I'm just messing with him. He throws me off because he just wants his, his claw. So while he's doing that, I'm still going to chew him up with it. Uh, uh, got it. Yeah, I'm going to run because don't want to get hit, he can one-shot you with a move. He literally one-shot you. He'll chop you in half. All kind of good hits. Well, he's down again, so that's awesome. We're going to go ahead and finish him off now. And he is dead. That was super fast and super easy. Circular saw is literally a fucking The only thing I really don't recommend using the circular saw on is the fat men. I, 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 I don't recommend that. Jack just, Jack just needs to stay dead. Yeah, stay exactly. Dead. He just needs to stay dead. So yeah, there's like nothing here. Thank you, game. Uh, just don't don't give me nothing, right? That's cool. Cool chainsaw. I wish I could keep it. 
And I gotta get out of here, so we're gonna waste it on this door. So, I believe now, well, I think I'm going to go put up everything, and we are going to go back upstairs and finish off the scorpion key. Finally! And after that, we're going to be pretty much done with the house until later. And, Granny, you are very scary why do you have to be all humming like that it's kind of creepy I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything that I don't need in there What's up, Granny? How you do? You uh, you be good now, Granny. Okay, I'll I'll see you later. And you need to quit all that. Uh, hey, where where the fuck did you go? Man, that bitch is fucking fast, dude. Like, for her having to be in a wheelchair and looking like she damn near paralyzed, she can move. Well, let's go ahead and stick all the dog heads in. Awesome. That's, that's what I like to see. I'm really, really kind of like, no, I'm awake. I wanted to, I was thinking about going into that room and collecting all that, but we don't need it right now. Yeah, we don't need it right now. So what we're going to do is go get what I really want to get. And what I really, 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 really want to get. But I guess first we'll do this. Okay, so switch, get, get this shotgun, and then put the toy gun in there. Bam. Now, this shotgun sucks. I'm going to say it. It sucks. Most people may like this shotgun, but that is only because you have not had a true shotgun in your hand yet. This shotgun sucks. And it is going where it will be the entire game in my storage box. So anyway, now that we got that tasteless weapon out of my inventory, we are going to go back upstate, uh, upstairs to Grandma's room and into the rec room. And up here, as you know, there is that scorpion door. But before we actually, well, we'll, we'll collect the stuff because we still have things in here to collect. We'll get this antique coin. I think there's still a bobblehead. Yep, there's still a bobblehead to destroy. Let me destroy that. We'll read this. Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie you caught to the deck. Oh, okay. So that must have been like that Travis. So I guess we'll go ahead and watch this Mia tape. We'll, 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 we'll do the Mia tape. Uh, maybe not. We'll do it in a second. I, I want to definitely get this first. Though. So this baby right here is the cream of the crop. I'm tired of chatting all those shitheads around. Chasing all those shitheads around the yard. The next time one of our guests run away... Hide the dog heads around the house so they can't find them. So this is basically telling you where all three of the dog heads are. We kind of already got them though. But uh, yeah, that's that's where you find out where the dog heads are. So I can't really collect a lot of this stuff. But 
Should be able to. Dear Miss Baker, how have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I've finished examining your x-rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus-like structures that seem to be related to mold. The hallucin... Oh, she's getting hallucinations. In your is your symptoms are due to a fungal parasite, it must be removed before it's too late. I don't mean to scare you, but I am seriously concerned for your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I strongly recommend you undergo further tests. So it sounds like Marguerite was feeling bad and she tried to go see what was wrong, but before she could, it was too late. So yeah. Um, so we're just going to collect everything in here and I'll probably be full up again. And yes, I am. Uh, heal myself, I guess. Got plenty of them. And that is grandma's teeth. Yay. So now we have nine and then 13 not bad not bad all right so now i believe we are going to watch the mia tape or shall i say play thy mia tape you to know that wasn't me i don't i don't know what happened there's so much that you need to know there you are you gave us quite a scare young lady it's all normal and i thought on madhouse too but while you're walking on uh upstairs you can kind of see marguerite just walking around outside talking well this is technically what she was doing so somehow that tape ends up up there and get to see it from Mia's perspective so you don't want to go that way you want to go this way to the left uh, you see Evelyn that's the little girl uh, she just called me a mommy strange so yeah, this looks like a just very bad and it got super dark so this is like a spider nest or some shit it seems you come through here and you go around this box you're going to activate. Once you hear her start talking, you want to backtrack. And you want to hide behind this box. Just just hide behind this box. You'll be good. She's going to walk up. She's going to stay there for a minute. Act like she sees something, but she really don't. As long as you stay behind this box, you're good. And then just wait till she goes through the door. And then commence to go through the door she just came out of. So you're going to want to go down the hall after she goes through that door in front of you right there. So she's just standing there chilling. I don't understand you. All right, she went through. So now we're just gonna go around. Now, as soon as you come through here, you wanna keep on going because she is gonna come right back. And you're gonna wanna hide over here to the right of her. And here is a flamethrower that Ethan's gonna be able to get pretty soon. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hide in this corner until she leaves. She's gonna come up, she's gonna go to leave, and then she's going to get spooked, come back. She's going to check that other side. Do not go hide on the other end. You will get caught. Hide in this end. You ain't. You don't, you don't have anything to worry about. I know you and Zoe are plotting. I know you were scheming. You think I don't know what you want to do with that boy, Ethan? Come 
over here. And there you go. We are home free. She's gonna go about her business. I'll feed you to my babies and fertilize the garden with what was left. I don't want to be fertilizer for your babies in your garden, mommy. We open our home. We open our hearts. Well, can you close them? to survive that's what I do all right so we're gonna go ahead and use this and yay we're gonna go ahead and make a little spider spider of course it's a spider right there's a lot of foreshadowing going on right now a lot of foreshadowing all right so unlike the house we're gonna actually go through this one because that's the only way we can get to the the other side right now so this part is very key um, it's basically bringing you to an area we're gonna have to go with Ethan to uh, get one of the items we're gonna need so when you come out of there you're gonna come around this box well uh oh looks like Margaret Margarita's on this side. So you just come around this box and hide. Now she's gonna come up, she's gonna kinda stop and wait around, and then she's gonna pass this box up. Whenever she goes and pass, like starts to walk past, you're gonna hurry up and go where she came from, which is around that corner, and there's gonna be a hole that you're gonna drop in. So you see her going we as she goes, you, as she goes, so do Embrace us. I, I, there we go. There are no and then we just go around here and we're going to drop down. No, 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 Alright, so we come underneath here and down no here to the end. Oh, making sure everything's cool. This crank, we're going to need that crank. And this is a picture of Mia and Evelyn. Evelyn is the little kid, Mia is the grown up. As you, yeah, duh. Right? Oh, well, hello, you Marguerite. You're, you're looking lovely today. Well, that was um, awesome. So yeah, so we're going to end up having to go over there, which we're going to be doing that on the next episode. It's going to be awesome. What did they do to you, Mia?
So one good thing about Margarita, she's a little, I find she's better to fight than Jack. Jack kind of gets boring, I guess, after a while. Marguerite kind of keeps you on your toes. So this ought to be a fun, fun battle coming up. But before Marguerite, we got a few things we have to do. Um, we're going to leave the house, I do believe. And actually, we're going to repair the shotgun before I end this episode, just to show you the shotgun when it's repaired. And on the next episode, I will make sure I use it and let you see. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just, I'm full up anyway, so we're just going to head back. Um, we're done with the scorpion key. Mostly all the keys only have two to three doors you can unlock. Most, most keys only basically two doors. I think there's an exception with one key that has three doors. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think one or two keys opens up three doors. And so there's a bunch of loot around here we can get and we are going to get. Um, there's a bobblehead right there on the staircase. We're going to grab that here in a minute. But we're just going to go ahead and put everything up. This trailer is a save area. So it's got all your goodies in here. We've got some cassette tapes. Nice, nice. We have some more cages. And on Madhouse, they actually give you the grenade launcher now. Which is fucking awesome. Uh, daddy's in business now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. So in here we have, you know, your regular steroids and your stabilizer, like usual. Uh, like usual, nothing there. We're going to go ahead and read this. My body's feeling weirder and weirder. Soon I'll become like mom and dad. It's all her fault. Should I run? No. That woman she was with, Mia, she knows something. If I had the serum, I could cure myself. It's too late for them. That's kind of mean though. So this Magnum, normally I do not recommend getting this Magnum ever on any kind of normal or uh, easy run. But seeing as I have infinite ammo and we're playing on Madhouse, we will be getting the Magnum. So yeah, we will have the Magnum by the end of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a few more things. Um, and we're going to go collect some, some stuffy stuffs. Well, first, we're going to answer the phone. You made it. You're the first I've ever seen make it this far. So what is it you need me to do? Is it going to help me get out of here? Yes. Now listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. All right, and there you go. There is the other bobblehead. Now, usually on normal, right here in this spot is where you get the repair kit. But seeing as we're on Madhouse, of course, they got to change it up. They actually swap the repair kit and the antique coin and the uh, chem fluid. So the antique coin is right here. And the repair kit is now... Oh, first we're going to grab this herb. The repair kit is on the side of the house over here. In this corner. And with some solid fuel, actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make that. Pick up this repair kit. And we are using this bitch on this shotgun. Now, my friends. Behold. The best shotgun in the game. 
it puts the other shotgun to shame. Even though this thing is two shots, it is, it's only a two-shotter, it is so much better than the other shotgun. And next episode, we will put that to the test. I can promise you. We'll probably be using a lot of our weapons next episode. Which is going to be very fun. We're about to get into some exciting events. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put everything up in here. And uh, we're going to save. Oh, that maybe it's Zoe's. Well, well, you think it's kind of her trailer, you know. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, put up stuff I don't need for right now. And I'll... I'll adjust and look more whenever I actually start recording again. Yeah, so hopefully everybody enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, please drop a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you thought. Uh, if, if you liked my tips and all that. Uh, hopefully you did. So as you can see, we're already at 14 files. We have 10 uh, antique coins. We're getting, we're getting up there. Yeah, next next episode, actually the next couple of episodes is probably going to be very entertaining uh, and exciting, action-packed, I should say. But uh, yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed, really do. Um, I will see everybody on the next one. Uh, it might be a few days to a week or so before I get that one out, but I will try my best to do it as soon as possible. So yeah, hopefully everybody has a great morning. A great evening and a great night. I'll catch you on the next one.